Aspen is on Facebook. Uh, we have a Facebook group called The Ramsey Baby Steps Community. Over 100,000 over 100, folks hanging out with us. Be sure you check it out. Uh, Dave, I'm just now beginning my baby steps at 19 years old. I'm really nervous, but I think I can do it. Do you have any advice on getting a cheap car or ways to save money on a car? Absolutely. Absolutely. You are looking for what's called a garage sale car. A garage sale car is a car that is ugly. It's ugly, but it has great mechanical condition. It was driven 25 years ago by a little old lady back and forth to church. She's died and her family is having a garage sale. And the car is old. Uh, the seats are split because they've been sitting in the garage. The paint is faded. And it's a bad station wagon from a bad movie of yesteryear. But it's in perfect condition mechanically because it's just been sitting there in her garage. It's got 20,000 miles on it. It's 15, 20 years old. And you can buy that car for 500 bucks because it's not got any value on the market, but it's got a lot of life left in her. And you have to give her a name because a car like that deserves a name. This is old blue, big red, the hoopty wagon. I don't know. You give her a name, but you got to, if you, you, you have to give cars like that a name. I had a friend working here a while back. We've told this story a hundred times. This is a few years back, but it actually happened. And, um, I, I had dropped my car at the shop and he decided, I said, Hey, take me to the shop and drop me off and get my car. And he pulls up and he goes, I hope you don't mind riding in big red. And I'm like, no, tell me about big red. So big red was a 1994 Granada land yacht. Right. I mean, this thing was unbelievable and it was originally red, but it had faded to pink. And it originally had one of those vinyl tops on it, vinyl roof on it, and it had peeled. So Big Red had whiskers kind of on the top. Uh, but Big Red was my buddy that works here's uh, Great Aunt's car, and it had 14,000 actual miles on it. And it looked like crap. But 14,000 actual miles, and he bought it from the estate for 500 bucks. And he drove Big Red for about two years. Big Red was a great car, great car to get started in. Now, I don't know how broke you are or how far down the uh, rabbit hole you've got to go on picking out your car. Maybe it doesn't have to be quite as bad as Big Red, but you are not looking for a sex symbol in a car. You are looking for mechanical reliability. And that's how you start with a good hoopty. And you get, you know, that's a $1,000 car, a $500 car. And it's got a lot of life left in her. You give her a name and you drive her a little while and you pile up cash. And then you move up to a $5,000 car that you pay cash for. Instead of taking on $500 a month car payments, put $500 a month away for 10 months. Voila, you'll have $5,000. It's magical how that happens. 10 whole months that you'll drive your version of Big Red or the Blue Goose or the whatever whatever it is you want to name this puppy, but be sure you take pictures of it because you got to tell this story to your grandkids later. You got to tell them, this is what we did back in the day. We walked uphill both ways in the snow to school. You know, I mean, it's without shoes. And I mean, you know, all the grandpa stories, you got to have good grandpa stories later and you got to have good pictures of big red. I got pictures of our version of big red and uh, that the Ramses drove. Oh, bad stuff bad stuff the one i didn't get a picture of is when i tell the story about the guy loaned me and i drove it for three months when we went broke it's a 1978 cadillac with 423,000 actual miles on it and uh it was a piece of garbage and i drove that car for 10 years one three-month period it felt like forever it was so embarrassing the predominant color on it was bondo uh but that's how we started back after we went broke because we weren't borrowing money anymore and we just saved a car payment and saved a car payment. And uh, we went and bought a $1,000 car, a $1,000 car, which was a sizable upgrade from my friend's loaner. And I took my friend's precious little loaner back to him. But it was a blessing. I'm not complaining. It was a blessing at the time because it beat walking. And I wasn't borrowing money. And I saved a car payment. I saved $1,000 really, really fast and got out of that thing, that Bondo buggy. 
And uh, But, hey, that's what you do, man. You just mm-hmm. think different. But, you know, the problem with most people is, is they buy cars to impress other people. I've got some really nice cars now, and none of them are for you. They're for me. My need to impress you is zero. I buy a really nice vehicle because I'm a car nut. I love cars, and I can afford it now because I used to drive the Bondo buggy, and that put me in a position that I can afford it. And that's what you do. You drive like no one else so that later you can drive like no one else. A brand new car does not need to be purchased by any of you until you have at least a $1 million net worth. You cannot afford to take the hit. They lose 70% of their value in the first four years. Turns a $30,000 car into a $10,000 car in four years. And every time you turn $30,000 into $10,000, you better have some extra coin laying around. Because you're destroying your net worth. And when your whole net worth is things that are going down in value, that's known as stupid. I've been stupid, so I know what stupid looks like. I used to, I mean, I got a PhD in DUMB. So stay out of new cars. Stay out of car payments. Buy something used. Buy a garage sale car if you're starting fresh or you're starting over. Get you get you something and give it a name. Get you some get you a good hoopty. That's how this works. Then you're gonna win.